good morning everybody welcome back to my channel oh my god it's freaking five in the morning right now i woke up at like 4 30 to just get dressed and i have to leave right now to pick up my mom and take her to an mri appointment all the way to san francisco and if i mean on a regular day without traffic the commute to san francisco is like an hour and a half from my house probably like an hour almost 140 so um with traffic in the mornings it's probably going to be horrible especially like passing the bridge luckily i do have fast tracks so it'll make it a lot better but still i have to leave right now because i'd rather be early i'm hoping than late so she does have an, one last MRI appointment before her surgery tomorrow. And yeah, I fell asleep probably around 2.50. I couldn't sleep. Um, well, when I put my phone down, it was like 2.50. So I have not slept a whole lot. And yeah, I'm so tired. I'm probably going to try to get like an energy drink or something on my way there because... Uh, I'm horrible like if I'm tired like I suck at driving so wish me luck um I do have to take Sebastian with me so that's the part that I'm kind of dreading right now that I have to change him get him dressed and just take him with me so yeah but let's go um I'll keep updating you guys through the process and Hey guys, so it's later on in the night and I kind of just stopped vlogging because um, there was a lot of mixed emotions that went through the day today. Um, I actually don't really want to talk about it too much because I don't want her to hear me. And she'll get sad, but... Um, let me see if she wants to tell you guys kind of what happened. Madre. Mommy. ¿Qué le pasó hoy? Mira, quieren una coronita. Se mira como una diadema. Se mira como una diadema. Le resuraron su pelo. Me cortaron mi pelo a machetazos. ¿Cómo se siente? Sí tengo poquito. ¿Cómo se siente para mañana? ¿Feliz? No tan feliz, pero... Pero es algo bueno, mami. Pero tengo fe en Dios. Yeah, so basically today um, what happened is that we showed up for an MRI and we didn't know that this was going to happen. They actually let me go in so I could translate. Um, they're super nice at this hospital and um, unfortunately they shaved um, probably around six spots I'm not too sure how many around her head so each spot spot it's like this big so um, whenever they told me to translate the fact that they were going to shave her hair off um, it was tough it was hard to see um, I got really emotional and I had to literally walk out because I hated to see it happening. Like, it's hard to describe what I felt in the moment. I get it, hair grows back, but I just know that it's tough for her to just go and look at herself and, like, her hair is gone, you know? But it's for a good thing. It's for this surgery that's going to obviously help her. So, yeah. Um, and we actually came here in the morning to all the way to San Francisco, which is like an hour and 40 minutes. We went back home and now we are back in San Francisco. Um, I just got here. It's 10 p.m. We decided to get a hotel here. My sister-in-law my sister in law is with me. She's checking in. And we're going to spend here um, the night just because she has to be at the hospital really, really early. And the commute to San Francisco in the morning is horrible so i was gonna have to leave like maybe at 3 30 or f in the morning if i came but now from here i can leave probably like at 5 30. so yeah um 
her surgery is tomorrow so we'll see how it goes um i'm not going to see her for a couple days after i drop her off so it's tough 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 <laughs> where's your water view shut up you just it can't see it because it's dark i know I mean, but this is i'm still pretty sure it's view. gonna look really pretty during the morning it's better than being it's on like, the second floor Oh my poor mama. A ver. ¿Dónde la pela? Oh, she's like covering it with her hair, but pues está tapado, pero it's pretty bad. As you guys can see right there. Um, up there. Right there. Hi, it's okay, mommy. It's okay. What's that, Birma? Let me show you guys what we got for a one night stay at the hotel. Okay? We got these. We got Fruit Loops Starburst, then Oreos. Mommy, no quieren sus favoritas galletas se las traen. No, no, no. You don't want nothing. Ya no va a poder comer en dos horas, mom. Um, a little snack tray. And then we got all these snacks. Wipes. And hella drinks. Hey guys, um, sorry I look a little crusty, but I'm kind of here to just talk to you guys a little bit about exactly what went on, what happened, and all that stuff. So, kind of like a little story time on yesterday and today. Well, in general, it's been such a tough time um, with my mom um she gets mris pretty often because she has epilepsy so my mom has had seizures since she was about maybe 14 but this specific mri that they did on her um they found something in her brain so whenever they told us that um i mean we didn't think much of it it was probably just like oh like they found something maybe it's nothing maybe it's something that just looks like it's something we don't know but um it turned out that her like all the specialists that deal with her wanted to send her out to uh, um ucsf so they can do a lot more just because ucsf has different technology like more advanced it's a bigger hospital and basically we were talking to doctors there or surgeons there that reviewed her case and um they thought that it was a brain aneurysm so whenever they said brain aneurysm um we obviously got super scared um we took it slow though we made sure that we didn't worry her and then later on we got a call letting them letting us know that uh, they weren't sure if it was a brain aneurysm or if it was a i can't i don't even know how to say the other word but maybe i'll put it on the screen and either way it had to get taken care of either way she had to have surgery so yesterday they did one last mri before the surgery regardless they were going to take care of whatever it was you know um I took her to her MRI yesterday. We drove all the way to San Francisco. And um, I was pretty much translating for her because I've been, I've taken her to like other clinics, other hospitals and stuff. And this hospital, I can honestly tell you guys that they are so professional. They are so freaking nice. Like they literally call me and talk to me as if they knew me. Um, they refer to me, like, they'll call me and it's kind of like, hey, Olga, um, just want to check up on you, um, and how your mom is doing. And, like, if they call you, like, from other clinics, it's kind of like, hi, I'm looking for my mom, and they don't let me talk, you know? But, luckily, they were so freaking nice there. Everything they did, like, they dealt with me. 
and I went in there yesterday with her. I mean, they don't allow people because of COVID, but since she doesn't speak English, they actually allowed me to go in there and obviously translate for her, you know? Which at other clinics they were not allowing. They would just get like an interpreter over a phone or all that stuff. And obviously my mom feels more comfortable when it's me translating for her, you know? So they let me in. Um, whenever we walked in, they said that they were going to put some stuff on her head. And then they were going to do the MRI. Um, I didn't think they were going to shave her head. Obviously when I knew that she was going to get surgery in her head, I knew that maybe she had to get shaved. Maybe I thought it was just going to be like one spot. Um, they, I believe they had to put, I don't even know how many stickers, but she has a huge bot spot here on the side right here, on the side right here. And my mom already had a little bit of hair, so I know that it was going to make her feel some type of way, you know? So when they told her that... They're gonna shave her head. Well, they told me to translate. Oh my god. When I tell you guys, I was heartbroken just to tell her. It, it was so bad. Like, I told her, but I don't know how I managed to put like a straight face and I just told her, like, Levan a resurar, pero van a ser poquito, you know, it's okay. We have to get it done. I made sure that she knew it was okay, but her hair is her hair, you know, at the end of the day. Um, I think that she saw the fact that I was being pretty strong about it. Um, so she was okay. I can tell her eyes were red. Um, she wanted to cry because, you know, but I think it helped the fact that I was just like with straight face, like it's okay. Mm, but I did get like, I had to hold it in so much because as soon as she walked in to get the MRI, I went over to the lobby and I broke down. Like when I tell you guys, I broke down. It was just so hard. Um, I don't know. It just, I feel like that's when it hit me. It hit me that she's going to have brain surgery. Like I've said it in my videos that she was going to get this surgery. But I feel like at that moment, it's when it actually hit me. So, um, yeah, whenever she walked out, I made it seem like nothing ever happened. Like, I never cried, and we were good. Um, so, there was a lot behind it. There was a lot about me having to sign paperwork, a lot about of me having to register over the phone to talk to different people, and... It was a lot, a lot to deal with. My family knows that I was going through it because I'm the one that was in charge of doing all this. So they were all t pretty much telling me, like, if you need help, like, if we can help you in some way, like, please let us know. We don't want you to feel like you're the only one that is going through this, you know. But I love the fact that I know that I can handle it. So... Or the fact that I know that I can be in charge of all this. And yeah, this morning, well, we stayed in San Francisco this morning. We got up at like 5. I drove over to the hospital, got her registered, helped her fill, fill up some more paperwork. Um, and the good thing about this hospital is that they were sending me text updates. Um... I can probably like put it on this screen, I guess screenshot if I remember. But um yeah, like basically they they were sending me text message updates. So it was kind of like um it was in Spanish too and it was kind of like ya está en el cuarto de operación. Ya empezamos el proceso. Um la paciente se encuentra bien. It was like every like 30 minutes, it was like little updates, which was so amazing. But we were all getting worried because it was so many hours, you know. Um, I think the surgery went about six hours. And right when she got out of surgery, probably like 30 minutes later, they called me. Um, she is in the ICU, so she's in intensive care at the moment. Oh, I'm sorry. 
and they actually let me talk to her like let me tell you my mom is so freaking strong like she's such a strong person um just the fact of her dealing with seizures her entire life and her going on six hour surgery and being okay on the phone like i was just like my god mom like you're so strong um they're giving her medication for pain because she does have obviously headaches from the whole thing and yeah but she does have a phone in her room so we're able to just like casually just check up on her and make sure that she's okay for anything like the nurses do call me um i was so happy too that she had a nurse at the moment that spoke spanish because she woke up to somebody that spoke spanish which is what i was worried for you know um definitely like the language barrier is what scared me a lot because i didn't want her to feel scared and yeah she's doing better mm, she told me that she's really hungry but unfortunately she cannot eat till tomorrow so that's like i don't know how many hours like the last time that she ate was yesterday at like 8 p.m so yeah <laughs> So we're about to put these beautiful, beautiful canvases that I ordered. I really like them. Huh? Be? They came out so pretty, huh? I got them again. Did you notice? Oh my God! Sebastian, ¿qué tienes en la mano? La otra, la otra. Hey, 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 Mira Sebastián, mira quién what? es. What? ¿Quién es? Hey, dada, mami. What the hell? 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 What the Oh, no, see, I'm going to This makes me so freaking happy. Ay, ¿Estás bien? Look. How cute. As I'm editing this video, I wanted to share, you guys, share with you guys what's been going on and just a little update before I close out the video um today I feel like out of all the days it's been the hardest day um My mom got out of the ICU, which is great news. Um, they told us that she's the strongest person ever, that they are so shocked of how amazing she is doing. But we got to FaceTime her and we got to see where she got surgery. And it honestly just breaks our heart to see her like that. like. I don't know what we were expecting. We I don't know what we thought the surgery was going to be like. But it hurts to see her like this. I just pray for a fast recovery. I pray that she does well. You so cute, baby. But She asked us if she if we can buy her a wig because she saw herself in the mirror today and
basically she has um all of her side completely shaved which is okay but the scar she the scar is really really big Like, where she got stitches, it's probably from here down to here. It just hurts, you know? It hurts to see her suffer. It hurts to see her in pain. But, like I said, we pray for a fast recovery and, yeah. I don't know. Okay, so, I'm coming at this was my mom asked me to record her, so that's what we're going to be doing. ¿Qué le pasó, mom? Me hicieron una cirugía en mi cabeza. Dijeron, una cirugía chiquita. Pero no, esta cirugía está grande. Pero todo salió bien, mom. Todo salió bien. Me voy a recuperar bien. Sí. Y para su... seguir con mi hija. Y su pelo le va a crecer y esa, esa cicatriz se le va a quitar. Tal vez tenga que usar una peluca. Oh, sí. Um, so, that's the first thing that she asked for. Usted quiere, quiere una peluca, ¿verdad? Sí, pero ¿de dónde? Oh, mami, la vamos a comprar. Mm. ¿Qué? Coma. Coma. She's been taking um, probably like 10 different medications. She's been eating well, which is good. Um, ¿Todavía le duele? Mm -hmm. Sí. ¿Qué? Okay. ¿Cómo? Sí, le duele. It's okay, Mom.